Hello YouTube. Right, today I received in the post the Cicada um, LS250, the carbon fibre version. It came in this lovely box, it was very nicely presented, the box very nice. Um, and it's it's from Lisa mrc.com www.lisamrc.com um, I originally thought it was USA MRC so I wasn't actually able to find out any, any information on it also when I was looking at it on Banggood um, there wasn't any information I couldn't really do any research on it so I thought well for the money it's £28 um, I, would, I would buy one as it's a folding 250 size quadcopter um, um, so I'm just gonna throw it together quite literally probably not tighten anything up because I've got to take it all apart again hopefully the S's will be here soon um, and there you go uh, I it's certainly a very nice looking thing and it's not like anything any other quadcopter I've seen so there we go I'll see you for the next episode okay so this is part two of the review with a Slightly different camera. Um, I don't have any real problems putting the frame together. There are a couple of details I would mention that aren't really clear on the instructions. The first one is, is that these central pillars here, they actually have a little like a threaded piece of bar really or like a little grub screw that screws up from the top one through the plate and the top and then screws down onto that and I actually forgot about that and ended up with a bit of a bow in the frame I think you should probably still see it um, the other thing I would do as well would be to put these little spaces on first before you put the feet on because um, it just makes it slightly difficult to get an, ang uh, an allen key up there by the um, landing leg um, the other thing as well is it's not clear in the instructions either. I would put these on the bottom plate before you bolt the arms in because basically it doesn't quite fit in there. I don't know if you can see that little bow in the frame there. Okay, so here we are, weighing the frame. The advertised weight of the frame is 120 grams. And as you can see, everything's on there and the weight is 105 grams. So... I think that's probably the lightest frame I've come across. So yeah, very impressed so far. Um, I need to carry on with the with getting it built. <clears throat> Morning again, YouTube. Uh, I'm not showing you my face today because I've just been sanding out some stuff in the hall and I'm very dusty. Uh, but the postman's just arrived and he's bought the ESCs that I've been waiting for from Banggood. Now, I got five of these and I'm pretty glad I did because as you can see this one is missing the capacitor I believe it is. Also the other problem with these is I'm not an electrical engineer and I'm assuming that this is positive. Oh, let's show you on this one. That point there would be positive but I really don't know so I can't use them. Um, so I'm a bit stuck now as to what I'm going to use for the ESCs for the Secuda build. Hi, the latest update on the Cicada. Um, basically, using the power distribution board that is underneath the, the quadcopter, if you could see that. Excuse the red and blue wires, it's all that Sussex model centre I have in stock. Um, it looks very fat wire, but it is actually only one millimetre thick, but um, it's a nice thick silicone wall which is quite nice as there is a risk of the wires chafing as they go through the um, the frame there. So I decided to use the items that came from Hobby King, the DJI 18 amp uh, replacement speed controllers according to them and as you can see I've soldered a um, are they two millimetre bullet connections on but I'll probably directly solder the motor wire this below. little isolated rubber mount here that's great lovely design but how the hell are you supposed to hold your camera on there's no space underneath there to oops sorry there's no space underneath there to get um like a velcro strap or something so the only option you've got is is velcroing it on that 
hello again YouTube the man of the shadow here um, that's Kuda Cicada sorry is finished it didn't actually turn out the way I wanted it to um, as you've seen in the in the previous video I had a lovely little setup but unfortunately I can't say whether it's the cheap ESCs that I bought from Banggood, which they did work, don't get me wrong, um, but what was happening was um, when, you, when you started off, most one would be spinning, that would be fine, you know, this is on test on a clean flight or base flight, whichever one you use, um, testing the motors to make sure they're switching on at the same time, two of them wouldn't um, synchronise with everything else, um, motor one would start, spin, that would be fine. And then as soon as you added motor 2 or motor 4, it wouldn't start. And then you'd get to a point on the throttle where that one would start and this one would stop. So I actually think that the power distribution board or the way that the ESCs that I had originally fitted were um, they're causing some sort of issue. Um, so basically... I have fitted a Q-Brain. I did debate on whether removing the um, case for the Q-Brain to keep it nice and light, but I decided that, um, due to the fact I've, I've blown a few of these up because I've taken the case off, um, I left it in the case for some protection. I have got my, i just try and get the camera to focus. I've got my, come on camera. Flight control board and on top of there, the Afro Nays. I've got my little, um, I quite like these receivers actually, these are a good buy. They are the Orange uh, 615X, which do the PPM. They're incredibly small and light, you can see it there, it's absolutely tiny. Again, the case has been taken off of that. And all that weight saving, um, also there are no... Uh, the the motor wires are soldered directly to the uh, key brain um, so I'm hoping that all, all of those small weight savings are going to make up for the fact that I've left the case on the um, key brain there all right okay uh, again I mean, going through this process and building it I've learned that I think there's a fault with the uh, power distribution board so you basically don't use it you know, um, I think out the speed controllers that will work really well on this would be the Simon K 12 amp ESCs or some reflashed Hobby King Blue Series ESCs. Um, definitely the Q Brain works. I did notice one on um, Hobby King the other day, which was a 10 amp four in one um, speed controller. So if you were if you didn't weren't really particularly interested in performance, then you could go for 10 amp speed controller um, and yeah the motors I mean pretty much 18 size motors are, are, are pretty you know it's about as big as you want to put on there um, the first key brain that I tried unfortunately did blow up one of my DOS motors which is like, I'm not quite sure I think there might have been something in the motor I did obviously sort of tap it all out and everything before I powered it up but yeah it was like gone blew the cube brain up so I've now got three quadcopters in various states of disrepair and one that that flies which is amazing as long as you've got Hello YouTube. Flies. Well, it's time for a final thoughts on the Cicada uh, 250 frame LS 250 frame um, as you can see the lovely white deck that came with it is no longer there. Um, it basically, it's not fit for purpose. It just cracks. I actually cracked it the first time putting on a propeller. So um, manufacturers need to sort that out. Um, the other thing, as well as all but one of the arms, is delaminated. I'll try and show you. Uh, you can repair it with super glue, but. Um, the arms are quite flexible and they just pop off where they've routed the um, track in. I'll show you an arm that's been super glued already. 
where they've routed this, this slot in. Um, it's a right angle cut. So obviously you, you're causing a, what is that on the table? You're causing a, um, a stress point. Of course it cracks. If they'd used a, a, a round route a bit to do that, you, you'd have just got a slight curve there and that would have probably worked much, much better. Can't actually see the point of that groove anyway. Um, I don't know why they just didn't make the arms um, you know, that, that thick, that nice uh, five mil maybe thick um, carbon fibre. So what else have I got to say about it? I, I still like it as a frame. I really like the look of it. But um, unfortunately, you know, it's, um, it's not very durable. So probably the plan now is be to uh, just, just fly this to destruction. Um, by the way, this carbon fibre plate here is, is an addition just to uh, protect the front of the camera, uh, the Mobius camera. Um, yeah, so it would just be flight to destruction and take all the parts off, put them on another frame really. It's a bit of a dead end. The um, screws tend to fall out because you can't put them in very tight because um, you, you'll damage the aluminium standoffs that uh, that come with it. Um, you know, so you lose screws. Um, the, only, the only little pikey tip I've got is uh, where you got your um, second mounting point there. I mean, I had, did originally use the little um, nylon um, packs that came, the little nylon screws that came with it. Just literally just shove them up in there and it, it locks it in position a bit. Two of them in the front have stayed and they just give it sort of almost like a ratchet so it goes back into position and clicks. But on the back two, what I've been doing, being a bit of a cheapskate, is just shoving in a matchstick as far as it will go and then snapping it off. So, um, would I recommend this frame? To be honest, not in its present state. If they sorted out a couple of little issues with it, like the power distribution board that doesn't work, and the arms delaminating uh, constantly. I mean, this front arm here is delaminated twice, um, which you know that's not really acceptable on a, on a five millimeter thick arm. And the top cover, which is obviously a load of rubbish. This is actually an old DVD case, and it's it's bendy, so it offers some protection. Um, unfortunately, it didn't protect my cloverleaf antenna from a crash. But there you go, That's there are my thoughts. Um, so it's been a, an interesting experience and I've, I've learnt a lot more about um, quadcopters from building this. Um, and I'm looking forward to the next frame when I can afford one. Bye bye.